Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Thank you for joining us for 7 at 7 p.m. on this Friday, February 26th. Happy Friday. I'm Jen Aw. Now straight to your top story, sponsored by Carnegie Heights. The Clark County School District has been receiving feedback to their reopening plan. We spoke to our education reporter, Alex Appleton, about what we know so far about CCSD's timeline and what other changes are on the way, if any. Um, I also talked a little bit to a source who said CCSD is about middle of the road when it comes to comparisons with other large districts. There are about 60% that have done some sort of reopening before us. There was a large group of Clark County parents asking yesterday uh, to reopen schools faster and to give a firm commitment for reopening schools in August. Uh, Dr. Jara said he understands, but there are CDC guidelines still to follow in terms of distancing and things like that. He expects to have an announcement on what August will look like sometime in the spring. And it's his hope that it'll either be the hybrid model or full-time in-person instruction. Also happening in the Clark County School District, leaders are calling upon drivers on the road to practice safety. That's as the Clark County students return to school next week. Renee Summerauer has more. Renee? Jen, K through third grade students are preparing to return to the classroom for the first time since schools across the state closed last March in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, Superintendent Jesus Jara, School Board Trustee Lisa Guzman, and County Commissioner Michael Naft and others want safety to be the next priority. So this is really going to be um, really going to require some change in behaviors and attitudes. We ask you to watch out not only as our walkers are coming back, um, but to watch and follow our bus routes. For more ways they wish to keep returning students safe, log on to LVRJ.com. Jen? Thanks, Renee. In other news, as first reported on LVRJ.com, new court records include surveillance video of 22-year-old Leslie Palacio in her final moments with an old family friend, Eric Rangel Ibarra. Palacio was found in Moapa Valley last September, Rangel Ibarra and his father, Jose Rangel, are shown in the video carrying her body. Rangel has spoken with detectives, although they are still searching for his son, who they believe is in Mexico. And an emotional mother and daughter, a victim of domestic violence, is speaking out, telling her account of what happened. Latasha Johnson says her boyfriend of 10 years was never violent, but snapped one day after a fight over jewelry. The incident leaving Johnson with multiple facial fractures and possibly limited vision for the rest of her life. Now her daughter, Jamilia, has set up a GoFundMe account to help with medical bills. I would want more females and women to be more aware of the individual that they're getting to know. I didn't see it. You know, he would cover it up with the love, the love, the love. Those suffering from domestic violence are urged to call the Safe Nest hotline. In your business news, sponsored by the Vegas Chamber, Governor Steve Sisolak hopes to move forward with his proposal to allow tech firms to run their own governments, called innovation zones in our state. During a news briefing today, he and the Office of Economic Development presented this slideshow showing projections of billions of dollars coming into our state through this proposed legislation. Sisolak says his goal with Innovation Zones is to diversify and further grow our economy. However, he was questioned about where he got his projections, how he was going to deal with water shortage, and so forth. I'm not afraid of the hard questions. And I'm not afraid to listen to those who believe the concept is proposed is flawed. I just ask that all involved understand that the end goal is a massive economic development investment in Nevada. Now it's time for your weather, sponsored by Michael Gaughan South Point Hotel, Casino and Spa. Here's what we're expecting for the rest of the night. Temps will go down from the high 50s to the low 50s later tonight with mild winds. As for the weekend, Saturday will be in the low 60s with around 20 mile per hour winds. On Sunday, a bit cooler and still windy. But starting on Monday and for the rest of the week, it's expected to get warmer and warmer with temps creeping back up.
Sports, sponsored by Scenic Brewing Company. With a sports update, I'm Cassie Soto. A 16th month old contract dispute between Churchill Downs Racetrack and the Nevada Perry Mutual Association is reducing the number of racetracks that horse players can bet on and blacking out many races leading to the Kentucky Derby. If the impasse doesn't end by the first Saturday in May, it means residents and visitors will have a very limited wagering menu for the run of the roses itself. Horse racing columnist Mike Brunker has more. Well, Nevada horse players are really fed up with the situation, and and it's just been getting worse over the months. Uh, initially, it was just Churchill Downs that we couldn't bet on, but now it's a number of tracks. So essentially, many players who have favorite tracks just can't get a bet down on those those tracks now. Now here's the latest in sports betting. The Golden Knights announced a multi-year partnership on Wednesday with You Pick Trade, a sports betting pick service based in Mexico. The deal, which is the first between a professional sports franchise and a tout service or a company that sells picks to the public, has been universally panned by the sports betting industry and by the team's fans on their Twitter account. In your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental, Love Your Smile Again. Over the past two weeks, only 8.3% of people tested for COVID in Nevada were found to be infected with the disease. That's the state's lowest two-week positivity rate since October. Clark County's positivity rate also dropped to 9.3%, one point higher than the state's average. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Imagine Dragon singer and Las Vegas native Dan Reynolds is donating the house he grew up in to Encircle, a nonprofit supporting LGBT youth. Encircle will use the house to provide programs, mental health services, and safe spaces to young LGBT people and their families. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Get Healthy Clark County, U.S. Air Force veteran and UNLV student Andrew Ho was named the 2020 Student Veteran of the Year last weekend. During the Student Veterans of America's National Conference, he earned his bachelor's degree in psychology from UNLV in December and will pursue his doctorate from the University in Occupational Therapy starting this summer. That concludes our show tonight, 7 at 7 p.m. from the Las Vegas Review Journal. I'm Jen Ah. You can catch us on the RJ Mobile app, Roku TV, YouTube, and other streaming devices. Make sure to watch 7 at 7 a.m. as well. Hope you have a nice weekend. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.